So thank you. Double thanks to the Double Manos for the invitation. And uh, let's go back to the bicep stenodesis. So it is a real life surgery and I will... Oh, could you cut the, the sound, please? Sorry. Uh, it's a keyhole technique. Maybe you don't know that, but it is a classical open technique imagined by, by an American uh, surgeon in 1974. So the idea is to shape a keyhole uh, into the bone, into the groove, and then you double the diameter of your tendon and you put inside and the system will lock itself without any implant, without any screws. Of course, it is a cost-effective uh, technique. So I will show you how it's possible to make it in routine under an arthroscopic procedure. So with the tension, you, you just have a locking system. So the, the patient is either in the B-chair position or in the lateral position, as you want. You can see here uh, the bicipital groove and the aponevrosis just onto the, the biceps. But before, uh, before continuing the, with the surgery, I, will, I would like to show you around, just around what happened around this uh, area. So we are going to check uh, the pec major anteriorly. We are going to check the conjoint tendon. We can check the subscap and all the, all the brachial plexus if you want. In routine, it's, not, uh, it's useless, of course. This is the pec major. Then you go medially. Uh, it is a, it is a uh, left shoulder, so you go you go medially, and then you can see the the pec major. Then you can go under the pec major, and you can see medially the conjoint tendon, and you can go under the conjoint tendon. Of course, it's totally useless today, but just to show you the anatomy, you can see the subscap and the three sisters. You can see the brachial flexus if if you want, and the lat dorsi just medially if you want to make a lat dorsi transfer. So uh, you have to understand that uh, I did not cut this movie. It is uh, the normal time. So I did not want to, 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 to cut anything to show you how it, uh, it is. I've just doubled the speed of my surgery. The, the real time is 12 minutes and uh, this movie is only six minutes. So then now uh, you, you go back uh, and you, 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 you are going to see where is the, the bicep. You, you just open the biceps and you, you are just super happy pectoral, you cut it with, uh, with this needle. Sometimes you have some, some bleeding, of course. Why? Because you have bleeding over the, the, the groove, but you may have some vessels under the groove, and sometimes you have lots of inflammation, uh, especially when you have a pathology into the groove, and this is one of the reasons why I think it's better to make a tenodesis into the groove, suprapectoral, than onto the humeral head. So uh, after having uh, opening uh, open the, the groove, you, you, you this is the biceps, and you, you take out the biceps out from the body, and this is the only way, the, the only time when I, I cut the movie because when it's out of the body, you just return the, the tendon on itself to, to double its diameter and to go in back uh, again. So we are in again now, and uh, you can see the conjoint tendon medially. So the, the idea is to continue the dissection of the groove, and you, you, it's very important to, to see the medial aspect of the groove and the lateral aspect, because you, when you will make your, your tunnel, uh, it's very important to be exactly at the center part of the, of the groove, otherwise you, make, you may have a fracture. I never had any fracture, but as you will drill with a seven millimeter drill, of course, you have to take care. So the goal is you are distal, now you, you are proximal, and you, you can see the half pipe. Uh, I call this the Bob's leg uh, slope. In fact, it's a half pipe, and this is the wall, the medial wall of the, of the bicipital groove, and your drill is you align the drill onto this groove, and the angulation of the drill is 45 degrees uh, regarding the shaft, the direction of the shaft of a, of a diaphysis. And then when you are happy with this uh, Krishna wire, you just drill around with a seven millimeters drill because the, the diameter of your tendon, when you have doubled it, is seven millimeters most of the time. So you drill only the first cortex, not the, both the cortex because you may have a risk of fracture again, and only three centimeters of deepness uh, because it is the thickness of your, of your transfer. Uh, then you, 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 with a system of loop, 
uh, you, you, you loop, and then my carison, my ranger, has a diameter of three millimeters. So that means the, the, the tunnel is seven millimeters of diameter, and the, 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 the keyhole, the, the distal part, the, is only three centimeters, and you have a, a, a real keyhole, and you, now it's very easy to, to fix your tendon. Now with a system of a loop, you, you pull back uh, with, uh, with a, you will see the, the blue loop, and with a shutter relay, you will take, your, 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 you see the, the blue one, so you back to the, to the body, and you, you will take now the, 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 double, the, the, the biceps, of course, then sometimes it's difficult to look for it because it's just under the pec major, but you can see that the purple sutures are very easy now to, to catch, and you, you can see what I have done with the biceps, so it's return on itself. Then with this system of shutter relay, you pull back uh, into the, the, the humerus, and then uh, the idea is to pull into the biceps into the hole, but it cannot go in, so you have to, to take the biceps to pull up and then to, to penetrate it, otherwise it, does, it cannot lock. So with uh, the big diameter, it can go inside, and then the system is uh, self-locked, and uh, it's very strong, and I've shown on my previous publication that with metallic marker that it's, uh, we have less failures than with interval screw. Then I've just changed the portal to show you uh, what is the aspect of the keyhole when you are uh, with uh, an anterior view. And you, you will see uh, the groove, the bicep groove, then the, the seven millimeters, and you can see the biceps into this groove, which is self-locked in self. Uh, this, is, this, is, uh, okay. this is done now. This is the final aspect of, of, uh, of uh, the tenodesis. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>